right, we're going to show you how to ch basically change the data type on a field and also make a few other adjustments. This is in response to the situation where you get some sort of table. It could be the attribute table to a feature class or a shapefile, or it could be a text file that you downloaded from the internet. Let me open this one and show you the situation. Here's an example where we want to plot a couple of latitude and longitude coordinates. And there's something wrong with these longitude coordinates. The, the primary thing that's wrong with them is that they are of type text. We would like them to be type double, like the latitude column. And also, we've got some nonsense here. Um, perhaps we don't want these little degree symbols, uh, and we want to clean those out. So I want to show you sort of how to do both, how to change the data tape, how to edit um, the materials that are in the field. The first hurdle you need to get over is that you can't change tables that don't live in a geodatabase. Right now, this standalone table, if we look at its properties and its source, this is stored in my downloads folder. I could probably edit this with Notepad or Excel. I could get rid of those degree symbols. Maybe I could try and change the data type to numeric, and I'd have better luck bringing it into the software as numeric. But I want to show you how to do this from inside of Pro. So the very first requirement is it can't be in a folder. It has to be in a geodatabase. Therefore, I'm going to export a copy of this into the geodatabase associated with this project. So right-click, Data, Export Table. And I'll just put um, a copy here as a table in my geodatabase. You can do that. And so instead of working on the CSV, we'll work on the copy that's in the geodatabase. You can't just change the data type on a field that exists. You have to make a new field of the right data type and move this information into it. So to add a new field, you can either use the little add field um, shortcut here, or in this three stripes menu, you can go to the fields view. Both of those bring you to the same place. And at the bottom of the fields view, there's an opportunity to add a new field. So I'll call this one longitude double. And I'll make its data type not long, but double. Whenever you add a new field, you need to save it. And the save button is way the heck up here at the top in the fields ribbon. So let's save our new field. And then if I close Fields View, I'll see my new field here at the end of my attribute table. Theoretically, I can now just, I'm going to say copy, but it's not copy-paste. It's going to be copy using the field calculator. I can copy these text values over into this field, and they should just turn out, turn out as numbers. Let's give that a try. This is the field calculator. And down here there is a box to build an expression. If I just double click one of these fields, it will copy the contents of that field into long underscore w, double. Let's see if it works. It didn't work because it doesn't like um, that degree symbol. So first, we have to get rid of the degree symbol. We can do this one of two ways. We can make a new text field and get rid of the degree symbol. Or technically, I could run a field calculation right on top of this existing field. That's a little bit of a high wire act. It's a little high risk because if we do it wrong, we could lose the stuff that's in here. I think I'll take the safe approach and make a new field, a 
the text field to hold the number without the degree symbol. So let's do that. I'll call it longitude text. And I'll make it type text. Save that new field. And here it is. And I'll go to field calculator on that text field. What I'm about to show you is important to use Python 3 here. I'm still going to build a formula in this formula box. I'm still going to click on longitude and have it show up here. But we can use a tiny bit of Python syntax to get rid of that degree symbol. This is a, a little tricky. Left bracket, colon, negative one, right bracket. What this syntax means is give me all of longitude except the last character. For those of you who sometimes have like a zip code with a leading zero and you want to get rid of the leading zero, you could change this syntax to one colon. This would say get me longitude except not the first character, the zeroth character. So. We're going to write it like this, which is to say, drop the last character on the longitude column. Let's see what that looks like. It worked. And now that these are numeric, I should be able to field calculate them into long double. Let's give that a try. Calculate field. And we'll copy long text into long double. And now these are numbers. And you can tell they're numbers because the text is left justified. The number is right justified. If we hover over the top, we see type double. Here we see type text. Here we see type text. And I could now plot these coordinates using display xy with long double as my numeric longitude. 